Have you ever filled the address field in a form and wondered, what the heck is address line 2 for? Address formatting can be a little confusing sometimes, so it's really easy to overlook this very important line. I'm Daisy with WP Forms, and in this quick video, I'll show you what address line 2 is for and how to use it with some real world examples. Before we get started, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can keep up with all of our latest tips and tricks for WordPress. So address fields in a contact form are typically made up of the following fields. Address 1 and 2, city, state, province, or region, zip or postal code, and country. The address line 1 should include the most essential details to identify a location clearly, so that means information like a building number, street name, and street suffix. So for example, address 1 might have something that says 789 Pine Avenue, with 789 being the building number, Pine being the street name, and Avenue being the street suffix. Address line 2, however, is used to capture additional information that doesn't fit into address line 1. So address line 2 would be used to collect any secondary information that specifies a particular location within a larger address. So let's say the address is 789 Pine Avenue, Apartment 12C. Apartment 12C would be written in the Address Line 2 field, with 789 Pine Avenue being written in Line 1. Or if this were a PO Box, then the PO Box number would be written on Line 2. Sometimes though people make mistakes when filling out the address field. A common example would be writing the street name in the Address Line 2 field, so it looks like this. Writing the street name on the second line is unnecessary and can sometimes be a little confusing for the recipient. Another example of a mistake would be writing out the state, province, or region, and the zipper postal code in address line 2, which would end up looking like this. Considering most forms have fields dedicated for specific pieces of information, adding in the information twice like this could cause errors in delivery systems. A third mistake would be using the address line 2 field to add personal notes, messages, or instructions. These notes should be left in a separate instruction field if available. Address line 2 is used differently around the world depending on local mailing practices and address structures. In the US, Canada, and even the UK, address line 2 is used similarly to include details about things like an apartment number, a flat number, or unit number. But in places like, say, Japan, where addresses are written in reverse order compared to Western practices, address line 2 might include details like building and floor numbers. Similarly, places like Germany will use the address line 2 field for specific unit or floor details within a building. In WP Forms, the address field automatically includes the address 2 line, as well as fields for the customer city, state, and zip code. You can also change the address scheme to provide the correct format for addresses outside of the US. Click on the address field and click on the scheme drop down to change it from US to international. Or if you feel like your contact form doesn't need the address line 2 field at all, you can click on the advanced tab of the address field settings, find address line 2, and click on the toggle right above it to hide it from view. So I hope this clears up a few questions about what Address Line 2 is for and how you can use it to make sure that you and your customers have the best experience possible. If you have any questions or concerns, be sure to visit WPForms.com and check out our documentation page where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. You can also join our WPForms VIP Circle group on Facebook to learn even more tips and tricks as well as be part of the growing WP Forms community. If you need any extra help, please visit our contact page and reach out to our support team. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.